Hey, you guys, it's Candice, Trinice, and Fee, and this is BGB. And today we're going to be talking about, I want to say, I was going to say Nola Darling. Mm. Um, <laughs> actually, they say that a lot. Her Lola by accident a lot. Lola. She was said, yeah, I was like, what is she saying? Because she was like, yeah, because I think she called them Lopal. <laughs> and I was like, what? Oh my god. She's like Lola and Opal. I said, You mean Nola? She said, Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my <Nopal>. god. <laughs> oh my goodness. And that was like the second time she did it. Cause the first time I thought I just was listening wrong. Like, you know how sometimes you yeah, just yeah, hear yeah. stuff wrong. So I, I was like, that, that was me. I'm tripping. And then she said it again. And I was like, Oh, nope, it's her. And I oop. <laughs> so guys, we're talking about she's gotta have it. Yes. Second season, you guys. Second season. Um, Netflix. Original. Yes. Yeah. Spike, Spike Lee. Lee joint. He's yeah. doing it. You know, as much as I'm, you know, a little shaky on Spike. Um, what what Spike did he? <sighs> you know, sometimes he's he just annoying. says the wrong things. Yeah, but you know, I love his movies, so he's doing. He's oh, for the people. He really is. I, I, you know, I give it to him. I give it to him. I so. think um, him winning that. What he won an award finally for Black Panther. Uh, yeah, so he jumped into, yeah, into um, Samuel, Samuel Jackson's, Jackson's arms. arms. Yeah. Oh, it was a whole big thing. The picture is great. <laughs> it's going to go down to Black history. Um, and just his speech alone basically was a call to Black America, anti-Trump, anti-racism, as everything should be. And I just felt like as much as I do not sometimes like the ways in which he portrays his message, he does always have a message for, for the people. Yes. And it's just... Sometimes he's just overbearing. And I, maybe it's a New York thing. Because New Yorkers can be overbearing at times. Yeah. I mean, I think he just wants to ensure that he gets his point across. And I mean, I guess I can't be mad at him. You know, he doing his thing out here in, this, in these streets. He's been doing it for years. <laughs> I think uh, I think they also say him and his wife work together on this oh. series specifically. So I think that's cool. Hmm, that's very that's really cool, interesting. Yeah. But um, just before we get into all of this, the Wonder Wise is gorgeous. Like she she gonna say that's what she gonna say. What she gonna say? <sighs> she said, "I'm tired of her looking so greasy on this show." <laughs> say, oh my god, <laughs> that is just her bronze skin. <laughs> no, because it was a couple of scenes where Nola Darling was just greased up. I mean, like. I don't know. It was one. Her eyebrows were glistening. That's I was what I'm like, saying. I, was I didn't know like, if it was the eyebrow I thing, li- and I just don't know it or no, what. I just kept saying, I understand, like, when you put bronzer on or, you know, something to make it look, the body look a lot she better or whatever. Glowing. And I mean, I she love her skin. Glowing. I do love her skin. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I can't tell. We called her a grease monkey. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just definitely didn't call and her a grease monkey. Y'all know we just got her to realize that black lives matter, not <laughs> all of them. <laughs> so. <laughs> I was just like, why is she so greasy? And it was like, it really showed like how greasy <laughs> she was when she you walked. You're saying it wrong. You need to say greasy. You I know, know. Black people don't I say know. greasy. <laughs> when greasy. she walked under the bridge. Oh, I felt, you know, I just felt like under the bridge. <laughs> Trina. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yup. She looked just like that doll baby. Yes. Under Trina. the bridge. Under the bridge. Um, but yeah, under the bridge, when she walked under that, I just noticed it. I just was like, God, like, uh, <laughs> like it just caught me. Uh-huh. But I understood it. I, I do understand it. But do I just you, was like, because you need to teach your sons. Because the, the <laughs> yes, little one I came did. to me, he came I to me, he did. was like, he they touched my did. leg, and he was like, You just, what's this? I said, <laughs> It's called lotion. You moisturize your skin. He was like, is it all the way down? <laughs> and I said, yeah, my whole leg is lotion. Girl, because they don't. I know. They he was like, he was like, he, was like he, he said, yeah. he said, yeah. oh, that <laughs> feels, he said, that feels nice. I said, you can feel the same way if you would do the same thing. <laughs> that's you what I try to tell him. Might need a little more help at this point, but you can feel and, the but same this way. Is the, and that's the point I'll be trying to say. Like, they, they be wanting to rub on you or and talk about your skin so stuff. I'm like. <laughs> the way is here. Well, <laughs> the way, I mean, the let's truth, and the be light. very clear. Woman's skin and man's skin is very different. Well, not for he still has baby skin. No, he doesn't. I need you to understand. That. <laughs> not at all. He's not a baby anymore. You need to let it go. Sorry. Um, Anywho, NT way. Uh, Nola, Nola. I love Nola still. Uh, yeah, yeah, I love her. I mean, all right, so Ooh, what What are you... I mean, she wasn't that. No, mean, no, 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 no. I was just going to say, like, what are you no, no, all's no, no, reactions no, 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 to no, no, the... No, 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 no
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what are you you all's reactions to the very first scene of season two? The first her sitting on the bed. I mean the whole not Being even just a scene, but the whole extreme as usual. Yeah. Yeah. I mean just the whole It's a spike lee. It is. It is yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. I liked um now what I did say was the one part that I liked um about this show so far was um the quotes that she was using as far as um mm-hmm. uh, who's the um poem poet I she's always not kept a poet. saying she's the author. The author. Oh, she's not a poet? Who are you talking about? The one she said was her favorite? Yes. Zora Neale Hurston. She's not a poet. She's an author. I kind of consider her a poet. She probably has written some poetry in her life, but she's yeah. most known for her novels. novels. Yeah. <laughs> so what, Candace? You know, I'm just Candace is novels. always trying to dump someone down. <laughs> Dang. And you greasy. I heard her say it. It's like... <laughs> Say it's don't fine. belittle me, educate me. I'm mm. just trying to educate you. It's fine. She don't want to be educated. I she just got educated. It's she fine. Fine. I accepted it. You know? Did you? I did. Oh. I literally did. It's fine. And I oh, <laughs> um, yeah. Zora Neale is that. I mean, I'm gonna say it, y'all. I didn't really like the eyes was watching God that much. <laughs> didn't. You didn't like the like, screenplay nor the um TV <laughs> show of it. That's but, the way I first met Oh Boy. Light eyes. Michael Ealy. Light eyes. <laughs> oh boy, light eyes. <laughs> Michael Ealy is his Oh name. boy, light eyes. That's the longest nickname I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> is that oh boy, light eyes? Don't act like black people don't lo- I elongate was, your name. I was and nickname. Oh <laughs> boy, light eyes, though. <laughs> that could t- that, that's four names. For real, he need to keep that. Nah, I'm nah, trying to nah, tell nah. you, keep it. Oh boy, light eyes. But um, oh boy. But I, I just like ass. that's just me because I'm not into this whole you like romance. Sometimes either hit or miss for me. I'm like, oh, this is great, this is cute. Other times, I'm like, this is too much, and I just don't. <laughs> it's I'm either like that or the other. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Not that it was bad. I think Zora is amazing. Mm-hmm. It's just like I said, I wasn't <laughs> feeling it like that. Okay. Maybe if I read it again, it'll be different. I read it. We read it in 11th grade, and I was like, okay. Well, clearly the novelist. Um, <laughs> mm. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess she um, educated you, little. <laughs> Nola loved her, and I, I love the fact of because I like those still shots. I like the fact that they have some still shots, and then they have a lot of movement mm-hmm. um, in in this um, season two. Um, I really liked, and I could not remember. I should have went back um, before we taped, but I could not remember if they did the music the same way. Um, the first season, as far as like right after yes. the song, they put the yes. um, okay. Um, um, I really liked that. I liked that they kept doing it because again, we spoke about in the first part. As you're gonna, if you're gonna go back and listen, we spoke about how that is helping to expose people to older mm-hmm. artists and mm-hmm. also newer artists. Um, so I like that they did it still. Mm-hmm. This is one of my favorite parts because it's like, oh, and sometimes you know the song, but you don't know right where it the, originated. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I know this beat or I know these words, but mm-hmm. I don't know the actual t- song title because I suck at song titles. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it feels good to know that and to see that. Yeah, yeah. He did. They they did really well with that. And um, a lot of a lot of their scene shooting. Um, I kept on talking to Candace about it, and she was just like, I was like. Trinice would respect this, <laughs> like, you know, which was fine. You know, um, I thought that they did a lot of, I oh. d- <laughs> <laughs> because we talked elaborately about the scene shooting. And I said, I love that Spike Lee has a simple yet very classic look mm. to his shooting. And I is the beauty and the simplicity. Uh, I yeah, specifically that. said that. To you. <laughs> She loves to play me so much, guys. Because I don't appreciate anything. I did not say that mm. you don't appreciate anything. Mm. I just you, didn't recall this your way, words. All you need to say is, and I, oh, because she read you. <laughs> it's fine. Um, it's fine. But no, I agree. And I think the he still is using the same sort of style. I'll let you have it. Don't keep shaking your head. <laughs> you guys see who it is. Um, anyway, he's still using some of the same stylistic features where you have the subject looking directly into the camera to mm-hmm. connect with the audience, yes. and you have the motion like around the like we have like either a really tight zoom in mm-hmm. or widening out. Yeah, so it's kind of like that is helping to display the story 
in a way that we can understand it because like when she starts talking about things that are more personal we get closer mm-hmm. in because that's what's happening yeah. and it's like that's us- specifically like watching his stuff from then to now that's that's like his style yeah right? and that makes me appreciate it so much more and i just realized like how like you didn't need all the extra like i mean you got people yelling it is, it is some like dramatic shooting but like all the theatrics that we have now mm-hmm. it right. shows that you that you don't, stuff, you don't need actually it. i mean you, it's sometimes you need it you know yeah yeah, like, yeah. it fits a good end game but um it just shows you like i said the beauty and the simplicity of it like just being able like even when nola was taking pictures like her having that camera yeah. that wasn't like no brand new yeah up-to-date camera like that was just a, a classic camera that she spent with her whole run chat to, to get <laughs> yes, she did. um but just the the shots that she got, the stuff that she did record, like it just was great. Um, and also like at the beginning of the, the ep- each episode, there was pictures that to me made me feel better about Brooklyn, mm-hmm. about New York. That's what I was telling her. I was like, I don't um, know who these people are, but it's just something about them. Like, is they just everyday people? Yeah. But like, I couldn't tell. Like, is it somebody I should know? Mm-hmm. And then it was some of them were popping up with the names. And I was like. Are these is this people that yeah? Just, like I just don't know. Because when they first but... did it, I think the first couple times when the name popped up, you saw that person. So I get where that confusion would have been. Mm-hmm. But I always say I love like older pictures for their simplicity, but how something so simple lasts for such a long time. Because, mm-hmm. um, especially I want to say like during civil rights eras and stuff, when you have pictures of people like in their suits working, right. like right now that means so much to us. But at that time, they literally probably were not aware that somebody was taking a picture, right, right. or they weren't like posing to do stuff. And now, because we live in a generation where people want to stop everything yeah. to purposely take a picture, right. to Maybe me, a fake candid picture. It, it did to me. It be a you know, <laughs> off off guard. Right. Um, to me, those mean so much more to me because they're more natural. Like uh-huh. you see the actual beauty of it instead of mm-hmm. the artificial beauty that people are trying to create now. So. Um, to see those at the beginning where people literally look like one, they're having a great time, two, like life is amazing. And mm-hmm. like a lot with the black and white, I feel like that gives us the place to add the emotion. So I do like right. that. Um and then because I, you I know what? To... it's so you know what it's so true about a black and white picture? Like it's just something so captivating about it, even though all the colors is good. Because you it's almost mm-hmm. like you have to read it yourself. You had to mm-hmm. you have to analyze it and figure out how you perceive it whereas color it's already brought to you in your face it's Mm -hmm. already shown to you of their perception of it whereas the black and white you just got to figure it out like okay yeah like what is what is important to me in this picture and i think black and white leads more to you paying attention to emotion rather than all of the other like external things so like i'm not worried that i look gorgeous in a black and white picture (laughs) gorgeous anyway (laughs) yeah no problem um (laughs) But yeah, and then just to tie this into Insecure, that will not be coming on until 2020, guys. I feel like we told you that. But I'm going to keep bringing it up because it's so heartbreaking. Um, but when Nola was crying in that, understand. that um, <laughs> f- not a Ferris wheel. What is that one called? Is that what it's called? Yes, the Ferris wheel. Yes, that's what it's oh, called. Oh yeah, when she was crying in that Ferris wheel, I was like, I'm tired oh, of feeling. The last, the last Ferris wheel. I, I said, I'm tired of end. feeling all these emotions and Ferris wheels. And I don't know what's going on. Oh, but I know. Ferris wheels are the places to happen. That's still emotions. Right, right. Well, that's true. She was just like, what'd she say? Not here. Not yeah, here. like, because <laughs> that's her last one place. Like, that sucks because you know how many songs that I can't listen to no more because of idiots. You know how many movies or shows I can't watch because of idiots. Like, once you have an emotion tied to a place, it changes things. It does. It's it does. true. I it read does. something once that said that, <clears throat> sorry guys, yeah. um, that you should have at least one thing that you do with you and only you so that yes, you can if anything happens, you know, it's not ruined. Um, but I think beyond, so what we were just speaking of, um, Opal and, sorry, Nopal broke up (laughs) and Opal was riding Nola's back at Coney Island. Yes, honey. She ruined Coney Island. I've never been. I want to go. Was Coney Island? Was that Coney Island? Oh, maybe. Girl. Y'all think so? (laughs) But... (laughs) Um, so yes, she broke up with her at Coney Island and made a complete scene. And you know, speaking of that scene, y'all remember how she was standing inside of that door that was like a yeah. mouth though? Uh huh. I was like, this is perfect. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Like, it was art. Yes. But Nola, you know, well, I'm sorry. Opal kept telling Nola, like, you're so childish. Mm-hmm. 
you don't know, know how to be an adult. I need to tell you what to do all the time. Do I have two daughters or not? But in that moment, Nola was trying to be an adult. Mm-hmm. And Opal was being so childish. She, I think Nola said the correct thing. Like, we're going to finish this day out and we'll have this conversation at home. Right. Like, in today's time in society, people always making scenes outside, making scenes on so social media. So everyone knows everything. Like, yes, exactly. Keep your business where your business belongs. Because uh, this is how I look at it. Because at the end of the day, if you do um, join back together or reconnect or whatever, it's ruined by all of the backlash of what you've put out there yeah. via social media or just out in the world telling people that you don't have no business telling and involving yeah. everyone in your life. And then you'll go back and you'll say, it ain't none of your business, but you put it out there. People love saying it on social media. You like, put it you, out there. You gave us everything. Yeah, it, like to put me in your business. So that I, that's why I feel like there are some things in your life, well, me personally, I feel like there are a lot of things in your me life too. that are sacred. You know, that you, that are <laughs> sacred, <laughs> that you just don't, um, need to tell everybody that you don't, okay. That, uh, well, you know, that you don't need to tell anyone. Um, I'm, I'm agreeing oh with you. <laughs> I'm agreeing with you. I We're know agreeing. you are. I know you are. I don't like that you are guys. Can you tell in my voice that I don't like <laughs> that she is? Um, but it's fine. Um, got a deal with you. So, <laughs> hey, <laughs> but don't ruin this for me. This is my Cody Island. <laughs> but yeah, I just feel like because because like I said, because once you fix it, some people they only remember the broken pieces. Oh, so mm, that's you deep. can't ever really be mended back together. That at the end true. of the day, that is so, true. <clears throat> and that's why people got to go on social media and delete all these albums and all these yeah, pictures. And of then, who they, they used then, to be then with. you feel like you have to go back and you have to insert yourself more by by putting up posts like, "Oh, I never had it like this before. He's the best ever." Or you know, you have to add all of this extra stuff to it because, and it's not even to benefit you. It's to reassure others that this is a now committed relationship when mm. if you never did that you would have never you can put a picture up with no words that's true you, you know very but now life. you always feel like you gotta add all these extra stuff oh gosh oh, just get okay. just stop it oh okay and i ooh. um <laughs> right but i i agree with candace i don't really i feel like opal wants to come off as this mature mm-hmm. um more in control adult but at certain points like Nola is right. Like you really are tripping about yeah. the smallest things. Like even the whole mother situation when she's like, you know, my daughter doesn't have two mothers. Mm-hmm. I'm her mother and she has a father. And Nola's like, I'm not trying to be her mother. Mm-hmm. And the fact that you're making this a thing is making it a thing. Right. Because Skylar don't feel this way. And then even like when he was taking pictures at the table, I was like, this is like you doing the most. I just feel like she just, did she, she really... wanted to be in total control of yeah, everything. Annoying. And my thing is, once you let a child in on your business and you give them, um, I don't want to say free range to to talk about what's going on in your personal, then it's really hard to shut the door. So, <clears throat> yeah, my father said something really good. And he was saying, basically, when you introduce somebody into your child's life, you can't determine the attachment they'll make to yes. that person. Mm-hmm. So you yes. just have to hope and pray that you and that person, one, can communicate mm-hmm. and two, be on the same page when it comes to the well-being of that child. Now, I think that Nola and Opal were on the same page when it came to Skylar's well-being, mm-hmm. because when Skylar pulled up at Nola's apartment, Nola was like, you know, you know, still respect this, still yeah. do this. And yeah. then she walked her home. Mm-hmm. If she was somebody that didn't care, she would have been like, whatever you need to get out All right go home however you need to go home but out of respect because of this is better call a lift <laughs> I mean, better order a lift um because she still was invested in her having a you know good future and mm-hmm. her becoming an amazing woman she took certain steps that she wouldn't have taken if she wasn't like you know invested right. as opal was so you Opal can't. just wanted to have control at the end of the day that's all that she wanted yes yeah, so and because so she couldn't annoying. control the situation it was it was almost like her way or the highway, and, and that's highway. what happened. And that's what happened. That like, and um, you know, she kept saying because she mentioned, you, you, you know, I think Nola Darling mentioned, you know, that this you can just call her Nola, <laughs> <laughs> Nola Darling, Nola Darling. <laughs> why she broke up? Why they broke up before? Nola Darling. Can we talk about the um the therapy session? How she finally went back after this breakup. You said how she finally went back. Oh, went sure. back to therapy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What did you guys think about that? 
I mean, you know, I'm all for therapy. I, I'm here for it. I, I mean, the I'm emotions that she expressed. Of how she really let it out. Yeah. About, you know, she really broke down. Um, dang, she she said something in there. Oh, oh, you know, you almost told me, you told me not to let you forget something, but. And you forgot. Yeah, I told you not to do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I forget that I told you not to tell to make me do Take it. Take on it. Um. But yeah, I feel I feel like you are not on your job. Mm. That's not my job. <laughs> I feel like well, initially after the breakup, she was secluded to herself. She didn't even let Mars in the apartment. Oh, poor Mars! I was hollering at him. Um, he should have lost his kid. You know, so he'd go away when she was screaming but at the walls. So much happened to her though, as well, because that lady attacked her. Oh, Jamie's wife, honey. Yes, yo, honey, honey, yes, honey. She did. <laughs> Laquita attacked her. <laughs> that's exactly what she was acting like a hood rat. <laughs> Laquita. Who, okay, so that was Jamie's How wife. She won't tell her she, she can't no come right. to the school no more. Exactly. Private. Right. Who this are is, you? She was like, <laughs> public property. She honey. threatened her. She was threatening her so bad. How like, bad was she threatening her? She was threatening her so bad. <laughs> like I could, I could feel Nola like grinding. Like I would knock you out right now, but she didn't want to do that in front. That she of, said, "Yeah, she was like um, Skylar." I um, uh, she said. She told, she said that she was from, yeah, she was, what she say she from? I don't know. She was like, I'm from Fort Green. I will whip you. And I was like, girl, you got to tell her. Right. I'm keeping it cute. I'm keeping it cute because the kids here. she even threatened to cut her or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she her back at the school. Yes. (laughs) Yes. And I just couldn't believe she was walking away like, I can't believe it. Cause he didn't came. Talking to her child. And that's what I mean by putting them in, you know, that type of stuff. Cause you walked away from them talking about, let's get out of their ear. Um, to go know, back to put them right in it. To put them right in it. And I know that little girl heard that. Of yes, course, because she, she was, was only right, close. She was right here. <laughs> they went right there. You can still hear. And well, she was yelling. Yes. And what's so crazy, and this is this is the dynamic of that, the she dynamic that gets whore. on my nerves. <laughs> she was cheating as well. I was going to say, yeah, that's the dynamic that really gets on my nerves. That is that the fact that, that honey, red box, whatever. <laughs> The fact that she that. would get on her so bad and not really deal with it takes two. That agitated me, number one. Oh, let's not think like that's just how it is. Women will rather jump down another woman's throat. But this is what I'm saying throat. that I hate. That's why I'm putting it out there. <laughs> she better shut your face. Oh no. <laughs> um, yeah, the the fact of that and um just doing it in front of the children. And then she is such a hypocrite because she is she is straight letting that man b- bang her brains out. And now uh, he can't even do nothing. Because they almost busted right through that glass. That I'll tell you that. <laughs> you um, know? So. But she can't be a hypocrite because she hasn't been caught. So technically to her, she She isn't. has been caught. She just doesn't know I'm she's I'm saying she in just... her mind, in her mind. A hypocrite never feels like they're a hypocrite in their mind regardless. <laughs> so she is a hypocrite. She's wrong. And she's acting like a she hussy. Wrong. She's acting like a hussy. <laughs> she always shows her age on the show. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I think that that was a lot. I didn't think that it was going to come to a head like that with Jamie. Because when we saw Jamie, I thought he was never going to cross paths with Nola again. Because we saw him trying to fix his marriage and mm-hmm, all mm-hmm. that sort of stuff. And I was like, okay, one. Well, he didn't go see, really see her again until after he had found out that his wife was cheating again. And he went to her opening, right? For her art. Yes. Sorry. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's like this whole journey with Jamie has more so been him trying to deal with the remnants of the relationship and figure uh-huh. out what he wants to do from here. Minus Nola. Because he definitely wanted to get it right, but clearly, Jamie, you were not getting it right in the bedroom because she still had to go in the bathroom. <laughs> so, <laughs> that don't always mean it. That must be pathetic. <laughs> he had to feel like garbage. I just, I, you know, I just, I was when sitting on the so bed. Kind. I was literally sitting on the bed when on the edge of so more kind than men. What you mean? Because men don't have a problem being like, oh, she was trash. <laughs> this is garbage. <laughs> Women to be like, oh, it's okay. And, and go, go to the bathroom back. and take care of yourself. I said, at least or she hollered out his name. Or affair, At least she hollered out his name and not the I'm other not guy. I'm not calling your name if you're not no, doing the work. I'm, just I'm not saying. taking attendance <laughs> to somebody that didn't show up. <laughs> Please. Um, yeah, so I just felt so bad for him. And then he became Inspector Gadget. 
Because he just felt like, you know, something had definitely had to be wrong because... Because it was him. It was you. You were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> because you you wrong. Know, he didn't do his part. So he knew that, he you know... So I just think that she wasn't... She's not engaged she, with him anymore because yeah. he didn't have no problem pleasing Lola. No. Oh, Lola. my goodness. <laughs> That's one of my favorite names. Yeah. Penelope and Lola. Penelope. We not get into it. We not get into it. Somebody else is talking about Penelope. It probably something. was her back in the past. No, she it loves was one of the TV show that I just saw. And they were like, you are not naming my child Penelope. Oh, it was Portia. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Because she was PJ. PJ and yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> like Pilar was so much better. I know, right? Mm. But I just... <sighs> That whole thing. And then when the sun came Did to them. somebody say she's going to turn into a pillar of salt? I don't think it was you. <laughs> it was not me. I it believe was not it was me. you. I was so much. She be saying myself. somebody and it be her. No, hey, was, if she say somebody, it it'd be her. I was going to say, so Maya. if she ever says that, somebody said that to it me. Be she her. No, 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 uh, if it's someone else around me, then I'll say, well, somebody did say. <laughs> and usually it only be me and like two other people. And one person know, well, I didn't say it because what said it was about me. So then they know it was that person. But this time it really was not me. It was Maya. <laughs> Pilar, I'm told, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'll be sure to tell No shade to push you. You know you are a friend of the show. We love you and baby Pilar. <laughs> baby PJ. Yeah, I just love um, PJ. Uh yeah, I what you can't see. No. <laughs> Go ahead and talk. I'll talk to you. Talk. Okay. All right. I don't know what to say. Um I want to talk about Mars for a little bit. Oh, I love Mars. I love and... Mars. He's my favorite character. <laughs> um I just I felt really bad for him this whole time. And not like in a because regardless of the situation. Hold on. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I'll say it. <laughs> go ahead. I'm so are sorry. Are you going to remember or are you going to forget go like ahead. what go I ahead told say you? Go ahead and say it. That wasn't my place to remember <laughs> what you need to remember. Um, Big ups to an OG in the game, Rosie Perez. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes Rosie. Yes. I love me some Rosie Perez. Yes. And Rosie, she hold, held down her part. And she looked darn good. I mean, and Spike Lee. He always he put looks her out. on. He looks out for those. Yeah, he always you. puts her on. And, and Rosie also, is Mars' mom on the show. I asked the question to Candace earlier if they love Prince, if Nola loves Prince or if Spike Lee loves Prince. Because and I just they, had to remember, it's definitely Spike Lee because he went to the Academy, the, the awards when he won the um mm-hmm. the award and he was dressed in a whole Prince tribute oh. outfit. So I was like, duh, stupid. You know it's him. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's later. Uh, that's with later. Mars, it was a lot that he was going through this season and he still had his... um you know, positive attitude. He still was laughing yes, and joking and nothing that. ever stopped his grind. Like, okay, they stopped my, they shut my job down. I'm out here selling this. His shirt said selling agua, not K2. That was hilarious. <laughs> um, And then I was just like, sadly though, he reminds me of so many niggas out here. You got all of these Jordans and no place to lay your head. I she said, said the that. same thing. Okay. You gonna, she was you gonna like, live in your shoes? You know what he remind me of? That, uh, that, that boy Emmett. from... Yes, Emmett. Yes, that's what I said. Emmett. Oh. <laughs> that boy from um The Shy. <laughs> He did. Damn it. <laughs> he did. Totally. Like I said, and I said, it's just it. Sorry, guys. I said this, but I did say it. Um, but I was just like, it's just a shame that men usually um have things mm-hmm. that they favor. I didn't say favor, but that they um love you or said whatever. They car or their shoes. Yeah. Never their women. <laughs> 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 she didn't say that part. <laughs> Nigga said that part. <laughs> As we learned, I, mean, niggas. Niggas and men. <laughs> I did. I said, yeah, they I call or their shoes and they love it. No, it's like they love. really love it. And I be mean, like, come on, like, what you gonna do with them shoes? You gonna make love to them? Like, what they you might. gonna do? They Don't might, honey. Them. They might, because they out there. They do Yo, a lot of stuff. Yo, when Clorinda told him he had to take his joy, fetishes off. in this world. Go ahead. When he, when she, yeah, because this man was in love with a car and somebody was sexually aroused by balloons. And I said, that's it. And that girl eating that deodorant pisses me off every single time I see it. I was watching. Oh, my goodness, guys. <laughs> Quick shout out. We went to a premiere um, 
showing yes. of a web series. It's called Officially Adulting. Yes. Woo, 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 woo. It was a very amazing time that we had there. Yes, yes. And you guys should check it out. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. It's on YouTube just like us. Mm-hmm. So, um, but the girl on there, Leah, mm-hmm. first of all, when they kept calling her Layla, I was like, well, I guess I should shut up. <laughs> Nola and Lola. But I was like, her name is not Layla. She's right here. It's Leah. <laughs> but she said that she used to eat powder. Oh, yeah, I did too. No, my mother said that <sighs> she used to eat cornstarch. No, yeah, I used to eat baby powder. You talking about baby powder? Oh, when my I was goodness. Young, wow. We need to call a settlement people. I people that used to do You know how they got the settlements now? They be like... <laughs> If you are a loved one, have been using powder oh, for talcum such a powder. Such, Ta- I didn't use. Wrong. I didn't use they no say, talcum they powder. They say Johnson Johnson products too. All powders. <laughs> yeah, that that Avino is putting that Johnson and Johnson out of business. <laughs> it's gonna be closing down and reopening just like Jeffrey the Giraffe. <laughs> Oh, that's a piece, Jeff. Well, he listen, he's they, they, they all opening back do up. It yet. They ain't doing it yet. I they going to do it. They going to do it. Like I'm Jesus. Turn back. You always go so far. Oh God. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that's yeah, all. yeah. Um. Yeah. Thanks. That baby powder. Don't yeah. Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't forget him. Don't ever forget him. You but what about the baby powder? Eating, yeah, I did. Well, we were well, talking I'm about talking about in elementary things. school. I did. Like, I would put it well, on me. Hungry? And no, that's your problem. It was just, I would put it, it on It was too much on you for you to be actually. And like, it. it would be on my hand. I made, I think what initially started me was like, I made a mistake because I forgot. You, and I did like, you know, like, past me. The, it was the beginning, <laughs> the beginning of the end. It was a slippery slope. <laughs> Um, so, so when you people got... walk past you smell like baby powder do you like, you was like go oh back God. in time a little bit like, let me bite them ah, I want it still she starts no, salivating no I don't I don't no Yo, don't ever get around my mother you know she turns into a powder I monster I can't she wait baby powder I, can't, I honestly cannot wait no, for the summer to she hit came to see da- her. she came down to the cookout she it came is down. horrible honestly it's she terrible just like Tyrone Bigham Look, she came down to the cookout and I was like what first of all she walked in so it was a cloud behind her and then I was like god and then I said my you got a little it was all on yes, the side of her she cheeks up all her all, like, I was I like, like a turtleneck. it is I a powder it. turtleneck and I hate it I love it and she be like it. never change I don't never care change. no change change it now <laughs> get change it she, take that bill in and get changed no chafing Thank you. I was great say that's what I was great so, say like she don't be sweating there she be dry. Where? Looking disgusting. <laughs> Sweating where? Because she should not know what sweat is like. What? She bathes in baby powder. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was so embarrassed. Y'all How don't you understand. come down looking like a snowman in the summertime? I was like, you know what? It's hilarious. I'm like, yeah, it's hilarious to you guys because y'all don't own it. <laughs> but you have to respect. I would no. go out in public. I still, wear, I still wear baby powder. somebody out. You put it so people can't see it. You are <laughs> very you put together when out. you want to be. <laughs> When you um, want to be that right that there a is ding. a backhanded compliment. I know it was. I know. Just so everybody knows. I know ding. It was. That's what that's Already called. Know it was. You're very well put together. When <laughs> Sometimes you she be. just don't care. <laughs> she be like, this is my house cleaning clothes. That this is, is my true. painting pants. <laughs> what have you been painting, Picasso? Or should you say Nola, you, darling? Listen, you got to understand, honey. When you get in them kind of zones, sometimes you just... Put don't the paint. Care. Yeah, you just put it anywhere, and you well, wear. Nola was cute in her paint outfit when she was at Nation Time. Nation Nation Time. She needed to be cute because she was that. About to get she them might. Cheeky yeah. Rock. Yeah. She when she, she walked over even. there when she da- there. danced over there. She to, wanted to though. with that light, trying to get some inspiration. <laughs> when he was butt naked in there with that cow dog, I was naked. like, you know that art that she used there. She should honestly use the one for um. What we call him, Butch Cassidy? What what we call him? Um, who you talking about? The white guy. Ugh. What we call Bubba him? Sparks. Bubba Sparks. <laughs> Butch Cassidy. <laughs> who is that? Hey guys, it's getting so good. You don't want to miss what's coming up next. Stay tuned. <laughs>